Welcome to Global Matters with Solange Warner. The purpose of our show is to promote international trade, cultural and humanitarian exchange worldwide. And today we start a special series, Global Matters Inspirational Heroes. And our first guest is the mayor of the city of Atlanta, Kasim Reed. Also, we will have as guest the Dean of the Consul Corp, Consul General of Germany, Lutz Gorgian, and the Vice Dean, Consul General of Mexico, Salvador de Lara. We will be right back. It is with great honor that I introduce you to the mayor of the city of Atlanta, Kasim Reed. Mayor, welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Please tell us the most important accomplishments for your administration this far. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, um, I think I would have to say um, financing uh, the construction of Hartsville Jackson National Terminal. We had a $1.5 billion bond offering, which is the largest bond offering in the history of the city of Atlanta and it was needed uh, to fund the Hartsville Jackson International Terminal, um, which is the largest single economic generator in the Southeast. So um, shepherding that transaction through, having the city's airport receive an upgrade in its bond rating, having wonderful partners like Delta uh, and AirTran step up to help with the financing, uh, to put in more equity, I think was, uh, was a very important early achievement for my administration uh, in one of the most important areas of government that we have beyond providing public safety. I don't think that Atlanta has any more important uh, asset than Hartsville Jackson International Airport. Uh, so beyond keeping the citizens of Atlanta safe, any time that we're developing that in a world-class fashion, I think we're strengthening Atlanta's global position. Well, thank you so much. And also, I think it will be important to, uh, to talk about that you hire over 200 police officers since yes. January. You did That's not right. compromise safety for the city budget. No, we did not. We've actually gone past the 300 officer mark, and it's showing. Uh, you know, last year we had less than 100 people killed in the city of Atlanta, which is a, an important factor in terms of our overall sense of community and safety. That has only occurred four times in this city since Lyndon Baines Johnson was president of the United States. And that is because we are making the kind of investments that are necessary um, to restore our sense of community in the city of Atlanta and keep people safe. Great. At great. A real tough, during a real tough economic time. That's true. Well, now let's talk a little bit about the challenges of being the mayor of Atlanta. Sure. For instance, please tell us about your efforts to eradicate human trafficking and would you consider to develop a crisis intervention center for the children victims of human trafficking? Yes, we're actually taking it in, in phases. In my second budget, the budget that I just submitted to Atlanta City Council, um, I've directed our chief, George Turner, to stand up a specialized unit that focuses on sex crimes, um, child, uh, child sex crimes, and to strengthen our trafficking enforcement capability. So I think the first place you start really is by prosecuting the crime and going after people that engage in the behavior. We're also going to create um, a network, a clearinghouse, if you will, of agencies that engage in the space that meet this awful uh, challenge that our city faces. I believe that the third phase of it um, will be the, be the crisis center. So we're taking it in phases. But the first thing we've got to do is to send a powerful message that we're not going to tolerate it, which is why we're standing up a robust sex crimes unit, which we've not had in the past in the city of Atlanta. It has been a part of the overall policing function. 
But now we're going to have officers that wake up every single day um, focusing on keeping our children safe. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Um, now I would like to talk to you about your personal accomplishments. Please advise the younger generations, how did you accomplish your dreams of becoming the 59th mayor of the city of Atlanta and how they can accomplish their goals to make a positive difference for, for the world? Well, I think um, first and foremost, you have to have a, a very strong or religious grounding in God. And I believe that you also have to work hard. I think that hard work is the essential element uh, in having uh, in fulfilling your life dreams and in having a strong career. Um, it is the difference maker. So there can be individuals who may be more gifted intellectually than you are um, and who may, may have more natural gifts. But I believe that hard work um, and devotion are a great equalizer. I also believe that clarity uh, and making a decision about what you want your life outcome to be as early as possible is essential because you really build the life that you imagine in your mind. And the younger that you make that decision, the better opportunity you have to put the building blocks in place uh, that end up where you are. I've wanted to be mayor of Atlanta uh, probably since I was 13 years old. And so knowing that early on uh, caused me to make a series of decisions that led me to where I am today. And it also creates a discipline in your life because if you really want to be the mayor of a major American city, that precludes you from engaging in a series of other behaviors um, because you just won't get to the goal of leading a major American city. So um, I believe that um, you have to focus on it, uh, decide what you want it to be, and then you've got to have the capacity uh, for hard work, uh, and then I think you know, anything can happen. That is amazing. That is wonderful to hear, and I am sure it's an inspiration for the younger generations and for the entire community, really. You're watching Global Matters with Solange Warner, and we will be right back. Now let's talk about international trade. Last year, Georgia exported over $28 billion, the most ever exported in one year for our state. Please tell us your plans and how you will develop Atlanta into an international business destination. Well, I think that we already, we are there, but we're not strong enough. I mean, I don't think there's any question that Atlanta is an international city. I think that the next place for us to go is to be a leading city in the world. Now, I don't believe that we're a leading global city yet, um, but I think we're certainly an international city, and we can, can point to a number of factors. Um, that, that bear that out. I mean, we're number four in the United States in terms of the number of Fortune 500 companies that are headquartered here. Um, just this morning, um, we had the announcement uh, that we would be the headquarters for Porsche, uh, Porsche uh, for North America, which is an iconic brand that's now joining brands like Coca-Cola, UPS, Delta Airlines, and CNN. Uh, so that today was a tremendous day. And then what we've got to do now is to push harder and drill down. So we are going right now, are actually in the selection process for our international affairs team. So we need to restore the city's international affairs component. Uh, Hartsville Jackson obviously is an unequaled asset because I believe that the future of global commerce is the ability to get home. Uh, people want to go home. So uh, the fact that we will have 84 international flights uh, will give people from all over the world the ability to do their work and then to get back home in a fashion that I think is unmatched by any city with the kind of amenities uh, that we have, uh, save perhaps New York. So I believe that that's the future. I also believe that we're going to be uh, the logistics center uh, for the Western Hemisphere long term, and certainly uh, for the U.S., because we've got great bones in that regard. 
Uh, you can reach 80% of the United States of America. Uh, its largest markets in two hours from Hartsville Jackson Airport. And we have the fastest growing seaport on the eastern seaboard. Uh, and then we've got an excellent independent center of commerce with the second fastest growing metropolitan area in the United States behind Dallas, or at least we were in the, for the last 10 years. So I think that all of these things together um, really give us the ability uh, to participate nicely. I'm also very passionate about it, and we have more than 66 consular offices um, for governments around the world that are located here. So much of the work um, that is done is deployed from Atlanta. Uh, even uh, members of the consular corps that have other responsibilities um, in the southeast, um, they come from Atlanta. So I think all of those things are going to help us, uh, and I have a personal passion um, about the globe and about, uh, and about cities around the world. Uh, I travel um, a good bit. I traveled more before I was mayor internationally. Uh, so I've come to love other cities. And I don't believe that you can be excellent or be uh, world class without having a, a real appreciation for what the rest of the world is doing. So how, how a leader, as the mayor of the city or any leader feels, uh, about the issue of becoming a global city matters. Because if you really don't believe it, you won't take the necessary steps to, uh, to, to make it a part of everything you do, which is what we've been trying to do. I've probably, I've had more than 50 um, legislative, uh, more than 50 international uh, meetings uh, of one kind or another with different heads of state uh, or members of the diplomatic corps since I've been mayor. So I've ramped up the amount of personal time uh, that I spend in this space, which is why this interview is so important. Thank you so much. As the World Chamber of Commerce founder, I would like to thank you for turning Atlanta into a more cosmopolitan city. Mm -hmm. And therefore, That's I funny. have invited uh, the Dean of the Consular Corps, Consul General of Germany, Lutz Corrigan, yes. and the Vice yes. Dean, Consul General of uh, Mexico, Salvador de Lara, to I'm be here. Yes, with Salvador this year for the 200th anniversary of Mexico. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome Thank to you. the show, Consuls. Please, much. I know that you have. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. I know you have many questions and also many things that you want to share with the mayor, so this is the perfect time also to do so. Well, we believe we, uh, thank you so much for this kind introduction. Yeah. We believe that uh, we represent this uh, international aspect. We celebrate an inspirational mayor today. We also celebrate an international and inspirational city. And uh, there are 25 career consulates here in Atlanta and uh, Almost 50, or the, no, the number keeps growing. Mm -hmm. uh, honorary consulates, uh, 37 bilateral chambers, yes. and according to uh, figures by the Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce, 20% of jobs created in the metropolitan area over the last year uh, have been created by companies with headquarters outside of the United States. Yes. That is why this diversity, this attractiveness for people from abroad is a great asset for Atlanta and for the whole region on the move from an international to a global city. Mm -hmm. And what we are witnessing this week is a perfect example. You hold the right bottle there. 120. 125 <laughs> years of Coca-Cola, probably the world's most international company. This morning, another global company, Porsche, you were there at the uh, State yes. House uh, with, with the governor. Porsche is building their new U.S. headquarters right next to the airport, to the yes. new international terminal. Yes. And also this morning in another part of Georgia, uh, the, the governor inaugurated a pine pellet plant, a yes. daughter of a Georgia Biomass, a daughter of a German company. That is important for south uh, coastal Georgia. It's yes. important for the port of Savannah, where these pine pellets will be shipped to Europe to uh, produce uh, renewable energy there. It's also important for Atlanta, where all the CEOs will fly in who, who make contacts with that country. Yes. So, uh, and, and from the cultural sphere, never forget the cultural sphere in these 
business developments. Uh, tonight at the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, Augustin Hardrich, a rising uh, star German violinist, yes. will, will perform, will play Beethoven. This is just what's happening in one day. Yes. And we didn't schedule this show because all these things are happening. This is haphazard. <laughs> if we meet next week, we could cite other great events. Organic. This is always happening events. here in Atlanta day after day. And this is why I think, uh, Mr. Mayor, your vision of Atlanta be moving from an international to a global city will become true. I think we're going to get there. I think uh, the fact of the matter is, is the uh, Porsche presentation today could not have been more indicative. The kind of diversity and inclusion and all of the partners that came together around that transaction uh, really represents the best of us. The governor and I working together hand in hand, the business community, multiple local governments, and then uh, having a great partner in Detlef uh, really helped to bring off a transaction that I think is going to benefit the region and the state. But it is also going to solidify Atlanta and Georgia's reputation um, for world-class businesses. You're watching Global Matters with Solange Warner, and we will be right back. Consul Delara, I know you have a few questions for the mayor as well. And then well, we'll first of all, I would like to thank uh, Mayor Reed, because he ha has had such important leadership and such important drive and uh, in, feel in making this and making Atlanta an international city. Uh, you make us feel welcome here, Absolutely. and we want to be here and to help you in uh, the process of uh, giving this international uh, first-class uh, presence to Atlanta. And uh, I also like to say that uh, you have been also a very open uh, person and a person that has been uh, has had a real outreach towards the Latino community, which you know I'm. It's uh, yes. part of it, yes. and I believe that the, uh, the Latino community probably could also be a force working with you. Oh, I agree. I agree. Uh, that's why I've sent out every indication that I can uh, to let the world know how welcoming the city of Atlanta will be to the Latino community. I think it's essential. Um, I'm excited about our census data, which shows clearly uh, that the Latino community values Atlanta and Georgia um, by the number of people who are moving here. And I think as the leader of the capital city of the state, um, the strong message that I've sent uh, that really inclusion and diversity is in the DNA of the city of Atlanta and that we're never going to turn away from being an inclusive and a welcoming place uh, is a very powerful message. And, and there are really uh, encouraging facts, even in a period of, of budget restraints. Mm -hmm. fact, which is, uh, fact which is little known is that uh, foreign language learning is increasing. Yes. Last year in, in Georgia, more than 10,000 students K-12 to have learned German. That is oh, wow. a rising trend. I do not even talk about Spanish, <laughs> where you have also a rising trend. And I have um, my communications chief speaks German. Oh, she, yeah. she is wonderful. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to Chamley High and Chamley Middle School, to uh, to name just one one schools here in the city of Atlanta, have been uh, have been given the German uh, language diploma uh, recognition. Uh, just over the last uh, school year. Mm -hmm. uh, their students can study in Germany without uh, necessitating additional language diploma. That's incredible. That all, all these facts prove that the citizens of your city have really an outward-minded uh, mindset and behavior. Mm -hmm. And that is, the, the mindset of the citizen is so important for the future of the city. You're right. Mayor, why would you think um, but why would it be the kind of support that the international community can present to you to make this effort easier, to make it a more international community here? Well, I think that um, the exchange really begins with conversations like the one we're having right now. I think that at the end of the day, uh, people, no matter where they're from, do business with people that they like. So every time 
uh, that we have visits like this. That's the reason that I have made um, visiting with members of the diplomatic corps such an important part of what I do, just because I think you do business with people you like, if all other things are even and competitive. And as I stated, I believe we have competitive bones. I think that there are a number of reasons that we can offer um, that we have strong partner, strong international partnerships. Um, but I also believe that personal relationships um, really is how you take something that is average and make it extraordinary. And it's how you create a really long lasting relationships, which is why I believe that our diplomatic corps has expanded and continues to expand in the fashion that it has. Since I've been mayor for uh, 16 months, uh, we have had uh, four new uh, members of the Dipl diplomatic corps added. As you know, Ireland is just one example of, of a country that has added um, a consular office uh, to Atlanta. So we're doing better and better. Um, we're now going to have a, a passport office in the city of Atlanta. That's great. Uh, so that is going to make it more convenient, more welcoming to get anywhere in the world. Uh, so I think that we've got good bones. I think that the conversation is important and then developing these relationships over time. I believe in earning trust and that's what we're trying to do right now. Exactly. Well, I, I would like to thank you so much for being in our show today. And I know that uh, Consul Gorgans, on behalf of the uh, Consul Corp in the international community, has uh, something prepared for you, Consul. Shall we stand up or remain seated? Oh, stand up. Oh, stand up. Okay. This is a, a globe for all to see. It's sustainable. It turns without... Uh, Batteries. Without battery, without uh, uh, any source of movement other than sunlight. Wow. And uh, it is, I think, a wonderful example for the international vocation of the city of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. A turning globe with all your sister cities. There are, <laughs> how many are there? 28, I yes. believe, around that figure. Uh, Atlanta is really internationally connected, and uh, you, Mr. Mayor, are a true inspirational hero. Thank you. And for the first time ever, uh, it is my great honor, on behalf of Atlanta's international community, to award the Global Matters Inspirational Hero Award to Mayor Kasim Reed. Thank you. Very Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, this is Mayor. Terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you for being in the show and I appreciate well, it for you to be in here today. Thank you. Thank you, Consul. Thank you.